A tale of two burgers, tracking the real eco footprint. You might think these two burgers have the same eco footprint. They're just burgers after all, aren't they? Well, not exactly. The impact on Burger A started back in the oil and gas industry, when raw materials were mined and sent to a refinery to make diesel. The fuel that was used in the production of Burger B was generated from recycled materials, waste and plastics, which was sent to a refinery to make fuel that's renewable and reduces the planet's waste. Farmer A's tractor uses a diesel that emits a lot of carbon. Farmer B uses renewable fuel in a low emissions modern tractor. Already this is going to have an impact on the footprint of the burger. Farmer A uses traditional agriculture methods, cutting down trees to make way for fields, and this farm is run on traditional electricity. Farmer B uses regenerative farming methods, planting forests on any available land around the farm and using solar roof panels to generate their electricity. Farmer A wraps all the hay bales in plastic, which is then thrown away. Farmer B participates in the circular economy by sending the plastic back for fuel production. You can already see that by the time the meat or dairy reaches a processing plant, the eco footprints are going to be very different and they still need to be processed. So by the time the burgers reach the restaurant or supermarket, they may look the same, but each one's impact on our planet is very different. So how do we know the exact eco footprint of each burger? Recarbonex systems can show us. Built on blockchain with integrated industrial sensors, the system automatically collects every processing, supply and manufacturing step along the way to build an accurate and trustworthy picture of each individual burger's entire eco footprint. So you can vote with your wallet to support the manufacturers who really are making a difference. Scan the QR code and see. Recarbonex Systems. Value made visible.